Here's how you can make a Pokeball in Blender. First of all, delete the default cube and create a UV sphere. Select the sphere, press R and then X and then type 90 on your keyboard to rotate the sphere on the X axis. Select the faces and delete them. Create a cube and press S and Z to scale it on the Z axis. Make it as thin or thick as you wish. Select your cube and then your ball and go to object, go down over here and select pool tool and press the difference option. If you don't find the pool option, go to edit, preferences, click on this add on button and search pool. You'll find something like this. It should be unchecked. Check it and close the panel. Now you should find it over there. Now go to the modifiers option, select one of these three options and see which one makes your cube vanish and these lines appear. Now press H or click on this icon to hide the cube. Don't worry about it though, because you can always unhide the cube, make changes and then hide the cube again. Now select the ball, right click and then select shade smooth. Now go to the modifier step and select the modifier solidify. Now adjust the thickness of the solidify modifier. It's just up to you, just mess around with it and find out what's best for you. But as you can see the edges looks kinda weird and to fix that, right click and choose shade auto smooth. Now create another sphere for the inside part, scale it down a little bit and make some changes. Now rotate this sphere on the x axis as well. Now go to edit mode and then press ctrl and r to create more of this ring kind of things. Now it's just a matter of scaling and extruding these rings to give it the shape of a button and make it look more like a pokeball and less like just a ball. Now it's time to color your ball. Go to the materials panel and click on new. Give the base color red. But as you can see now, the whole thing is red. But we only want the top part to be red and the bottom part to be white. So now go to edit mode and only select the bottom part of the ball. Now while selecting half of the mesh, click on this plus button and then create a new material. Now click on this assign button to assign this part of the mesh to this material. Material. Now it's looking kind of like as we expected. Now select the inside ball and this time give it a base color of black. Now select this part of the mesh and then assign it to the white material. Now put in some lights, try to make a background and this is your final result. Before ending the video, I just wanted to say I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing what I'm learning. I hope this video helped you in some way. See you next time.